What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 4 is freezing. Let's get right into this. There might be many causes as to why your PlayStation 4 is freezing. Here are a few things that you can check yourself to fix the issue. First, reboot the console. Restarting your PS4 might fix your issue. Turn off your PlayStation 4, disconnect the power cord, and wait three minutes. Reconnect everything and try to turn on your PlayStation 4 and see if that did fix your issue. Next is to check your internet. Simply do a quick speed test to see if it is an internet issue. If the internet is running very slow and you're playing an online game, it will definitely cause your game to freeze and glitch. To do the speed test, go into settings and select network. Then select test internet connection. Like I just mentioned, if your speeds are very low, that is likely what's causing your PlayStation 4 to freeze. The next thing you're gonna want to try is to rebuild the database in safe mode. To do this, you're gonna turn off the PlayStation 4. Now, press and hold the power button for seven seconds until you hear two beeps. Once you hear the two beeps, release your finger and now it should be launching into safe mode on your PlayStation 4. Now all you have to do is connect the controller and you're going to select option 5 to rebuild the database and you're going to go through the steps to do this. Usually it doesn't take very long. Now if none of those fixes works, the last thing to do is to reinstall the system updates. First you're going to want to make sure that your PlayStation 4 save files are saved onto the cloud. Then on the then on a computer you're going to go on a play then onto a computer you're going to go on PlayStation's websites and you're going to download the current PlayStation 4 updates onto a flash drive. Next you're going to go on the PlayStation 4 and you're going to go back into safe mode. This time you're going to select option 7 which is initialize PlayStation 4 slash reinstall system updates. When prompted you're going to connect your flash drive and you're going to follow the on-screen steps to continue this process. Now if those four fixes didn't work for you, unfortunately there's not much that you can try and your PlayStation 4 likely has a bigger issue. It could be a hard drive issue or other various issues as well, but hopefully one of these fixes did work for you. If it did, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.